We're cooking up something very special next on Food Quest. Ooh, look at that sizzle. Man, this is good steak. Uh so tell me, how did Casa M come to be? What's the story behind it? So my uncle, um, Mike Hernandez, he shares a, a unique passion, I would say, um, for both, for chemistry in both the kitchen and in science. Um, so it was then he decided to, that he wanted to take it to the next level, so he developed chain reaction. Okay. Which so is that's the your base. It's the base. Uh, that, sorry, I didn't mean to take the words no, no, out of Everything that we do contains chain reaction. Look at this tomahawk steak. That looks amazing. That is going right on the grill right there. What's your role in the company? Our role in the company is I mostly handle fulfillment for our company. Okay. Um, I'm also involved a little bit in customer service. Is that why you're here with me today? Yes, exactly. Awesome, yeah. fantastic. I'm glad so he I'm sent you out. I appreciate you sending me these spices. They're phenomenal. Yeah. I tested them out. Um, I made a few different courses that we're gonna go through and see what I'm you think. I'm super excited to see what you do here, man. Can't have a tailgate without burgers. You know, and I would have to say probably the Good Shepherd is my favorite. And it's funny you should say the chain about the chain reaction because each one, when I tested them, I'm like there's something, there's something, something there. similar between all that ties them together. And I and now you didn't put it together. together. Yeah. Now I realize. And that's why it's called chain, chain reaction, reaction because it literally is a chain reaction. It's, here's the thing. Your spices are so good and pure on their own that you really don't need anything else. You know what's really great as well is the fact that they're so nicely balanced. Yeah. It's not too salty, not too sweet. Mm -hmm. The right amount of each, like you say, your uncle is a chemist. Yeah, right? you will so have to talk to the chemist on that one, but I can tell you right now that I can vouch for everything. So these shakers are unique. They're very cool. They kind of have like a really, it's almost a retro diner, you know, but goal, really. Our goal with the stainless steel shakers was that it's premium and that it looks good in any kitchen. You don't want to put these away in your pantry. Does that make sense? Um, you want to use them all the time, and that, right. that, I mean, that produces more um, content for us. I make my own spice blends, and when you sent me these, and I tested them out, I was honestly blown away. What do you like to use these spices for? What's your favorite you go-to? <sighs> Man, my go-to is uncontrolled chain reaction, which is okay. off of, a knockoff off of the chain reaction. It's twice the chili. So I, I love spice, I love mm -hmm. heat. Um, and so I put uncontrolled chain reaction on everything. Um, and like I said, I'm still learning myself. Well, that's, I mean, cooking in general, it's all yeah, about you know, discovering all about different flavors. And adapting. You and know, it's interesting, our producer said that she put it on deviled eggs. Yes, I would have never yes. thought to do that. You know what else we do is we fruit. Um, it's really good on all fruit. I'm talking cantaloupe. Fruit? Watermelon, cantaloupe. Why not? Um, okay. Yes. We put Green it on with popcorn. Chain reaction. Yep. So cocktail popcorn fruit. Deviled eggs. Ah. Lamb, chicken, beef, yeah, so the pork. the possibilities are endless. It goes everywhere. <laughs> it can go on anything. Anything. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to come all the way out here to University of Miami. I'm so tailgate. happy to be here. And I'll Game's tell you what, already getting started. You kicked butt today on the tailgate. Oh, man, thank you. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. It's been fun. Awesome. Stay with us. We have more exciting new food finds next on Food Quest.